Hi, my name is Crypto Sport, and in this video, I'll go through the latest crypto and stock developments. Before we get started, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, currently sitting at 376 subscribers, hope we take the thousand mark as soon as possible. So let's get straight into it. We see Bitcoin trading at 16,800, um, almost touched 17,000 in the last 24 hours. Altcoins are still relatively stable at 0.8, Matic. Um, so yeah pretty much no movement in the last week or so it's worth noting though there's been a lot of developments in the last 24 hours in particular in regards to tech layoffs amazon are reportedly going to lay off over 18,000 employees so says their ceo andy jassy um the main reason for that has been uncertain economy um and just they hired too aggressively he said that several teams have been impacted, but majority of the layoff are in Amazon stores and people experiencing technology solutions team. Um, there's a lot of articles. Reduction falls heavily on retail and human resources, HR. The cuts were previously thought to affect 10,000, but they've increased that. Um, so yeah, December job cuts were down 43% month over up, but they were up over the year over 129%. Uh, 43,651 jobs were cut in December, down from 76.835 in November. So worth noting that um, one of the key indicators for the Fed is job cuts and how the unemployment market is. So the Fed wants to see unemployment rise before they do halt rate hikes. I think it's also worth noting out there's a lot of important economic data that's coming out in January, which will likely affect Bitcoin more, um, as well as stocks. Uh, in the employment data is coming out January the 7th. Retail sales report is coming out January the 14th. Industrial production report coming out January 18th. Housing market reports coming out on the 19th. CPI, the main one, if that's gone expected to go lower, it's coming out January 21st. So mark that in your calendars. And then obviously the GDP, we'll see if the US is in recession or approaching a recession on January 28th. European Union will also be releasing important figures GDP, inflation rate, Eurozone unemployment rate, Eurozone retail, all of this is going to be released next week on January the 14th. So yeah, as well as um, Amazon announcing job cuts, Salesforce announced that they're cutting 10% of their workforce, nearly 8,000 jobs. So layoffs are well underway. Um, the S&P 500 hasn't really done much. It's trading at 3,800. It's been the same really for the month. Since the, since the 19th of December, so it's been trading in that range. It's probably waiting for this economic data to come out to see what effect it has. If we take a look at the other altcoins, Veracity, as an example, probably trading at 0 0.02, again, very stable, hasn't done much the last three or four weeks. ZKS is another coin, doesn't seem to be losing that 4 .0 0.043 to 0 0.045 range, hasn't lost that at all yet. HBAR did hit a low last week, has been trading around 0.38. So keep an eye on that. This is the Liqua, which I covered in one of my last videos, if you take a look here. Trading at 0.17 almost. So overall, the market's pretty stable. I think we're waiting to see what economic data comes out and what effect that's going to have on the market. Um, obviously, job cuts are well underway and expected to continue. Um, we saw the Fed meetings come out yesterday, which is a really good indicator. So the Fed released their meeting notes yesterday. So if I take a look at that, officials expect multiple interest rate increases this year and believe that rates won't fall at any point in 2023. So there is not a pivot. The Fed did announce that in their meetings notes. So they said that further rate hikes are necessary. Jobs report looks good, not to, job report looks good, not good in terms of as as in the labour market stable. Obviously, Amazon and Salesforce since then have announced job cuts. They all agreed unanimously that no rate cuts should happen in 2023. That's the big story. Emphasizes the need of flexibility. Historically, rate cuts in the past have meant that inflation has gone up quickly. So yeah, there is no pivot in sight. So if you have a look here, um, the market did drop on that news yesterday. Um, I do expect the market to have a bit more of a reaction uh, when the um, other data is released, which I mentioned to you previously. If you found the video useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. I hope to see you guys again. Thank you.